this tutorial is to show that we can open a project by clicking new project we're going to call that project importing footage from files and folders we need to save our footage in a particular folder so you can do that by clicking browse and as I said before, creating a folder to cover all of your media is the best practice. Mine's called Editing Course. And I'm going to click OK, so now the name is for Importing Footage from Files and Folders. And I've saved it in Desktop Editing Course. And now here's our interface. On this side here, you can see the monitor, it will show all of your output. Down below the monitor, we can see the timeline with videos one, audio one, and uh, the default is three video and audio tracks. As you can see there, I can scroll video three, video two. Up here, we have what we call our project bin, but we haven't got any media in there yet. So the first thing we need to do is go to the tab called Get Media, and then click Files and Folders. I have some previously captured footage which I'm going to put in now first one being final edit and then now open and that imports final edit into our program now we can see by pressing the project tab you can see the final edit is now in our project and I'm going to click and drag that down to our timeline now our footage is on the timeline now we can do some cutting. I'm going to zoom in using the zoom tool here. And what I'm going to do is this short film has a news report which sets up the story. I'm going to cut that news report out and then I'm going to sync it back together. So the first thing I need to do is zoom in again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of black, it fades to black, and then it comes in where the newsreader starts talking. So I'm going to find the exact point, the exact frame where the newsreader comes in. I've highlighted my clip, and I'm going to click Timeline, and I'm going to click Split Clip. And what I need to do now is zoom out a little and find the end of the newsreader's report. And we're going to cut straight into the interview with the parents of the supposed murderer. As you can see, I need to zoom in a bit more and we'll find the exact frame where we go from the police station to the solicitor's room. And over here you can see that it's 1 minute, 1 second, and 17 frames. When I go to the 18th frame, here, you can see that we're already there. So this is the point where we want to cut. So I'll go to Timeline and Split Clip. You can also do this by pressing Ctrl and K. OK. Now if we zoom out a bit, we can now see that we've got one cut here and one cut there. I can now click on that clip and it changes colour, it's highlighted, and I can do several things. I can click cut, and you'll see not only is it cut, but also it's closed the gap. I can undo that again, highlight the clip. This time I can click clear, and there is a gap. You may want to put another piece of video in here, you may not do. We're not going to do that. We're going to right click, I'm going to delete and close our gap. So now we go straight from the titles. Now you may have noticed that the fade into the news is much earlier. So now I need to cut that little bit of sound out. Again, zoom in, and this time it's important not to look at the video clips, but the audio clips here. And 
and I'm going to find the exact spot where the news cuts in Just starts the music just starts there so I'm going to cut that there and again I'm going to highlight the clip timeline split clip and as I'm going to do you can either hit the bas you can either hit the backspace key or just right click and delete the close gap and you will have seen that the video moves and closes the gap so we're going to go straight from the titles straight into the interview what we'll do now is we'll find another piece. Maybe we'll take out the titles. So it goes straight from the credits. And there was an Edge Hill University. Now I've gone straight to the when it cuts to black. Now we can split the clip. And delete or by pressing edit and undo you can undo that action and we'll undo the cut and what we'll simply do is hover our cursor at the end of the clip and click and drag down to the playhead now the film finishes and straight to black if we zoom out a little you can see that the in point is still at our in point, but our out point has changed by approximately 20 25 seconds. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click the end of our work area bar and we're going to snap it against the edge of our clip. It can be a bit deft to do it. There you go, you can see it snapping. Okay, now we're going to export this clip as a teaser, so to speak. But you can carry on cutting as much as you want. But once you're ready to finish, you must set your in point and your out point. Once you're happy with that, you click File, Export, Export Movie. Now I'm going to put this in a folder that I've created called New Cuts, which represents new pieces that I've done. Um, I'm going to call this Important from Files and Folders. Here you can see it says Entire Timeline. We could do that, but if you've got other clips in your timeline that you don't necessarily want to export, it's not a good idea to have enti Entire Timeline. So click Settings. And change our range here from entire timeline to work area bar. We want to make sure we export the audio and we're going to add the project add to our project when finished. Okay. File name is importing footage from files and folders AVI. Now you can see it rendering. Now our footage now been transformed into a slightly smaller file now if we lay on top of our original file we can see it's an exact 